Today we're going to have a look at a 12 bar blues in C on ukulele. So I'm going to move to a close up and let's get to it. So we're going to start really simple with a 12 bar blues pattern in the key of C. I'm going to start very simple and then we're going to make it a little bit more interesting as we go. So 12 bar blues, we're going to start with four bars of C. C is your third finger on the third fret of the bottom string. And the strumming pattern we're going to go for is just down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So we're going to play four bars of that. So I'm going to play four bars of C right now. And then we would switch to two bars of F, so that is your first finger on the first fret of the E string and your second finger on the second fret of the G string, top string. The rest of the strings are open. So two bars, same strumming pattern. Back to two bars of C again. Then we're going to jump to one bar of G7, which is your third finger on the second fret of the bottom string, your first finger on the first fret of the E string, that's the second string from the bottom, and your second finger on the second fret of the C string. So one bar of that. Then back to one bar of F. Then two bars of C. And that's it, that's the 12 bar blues. So it's four bars of your C chord. It is then two bars of your F chord. Two bars again of your C chord. One of your G7, one of your F, and then back to two bars of C. And then it's over and over again from there on in. But it sounds a bit boring. So what can we do to spice it up? The first thing we can do with this is play a little bit of a shuffle. So instead of just doing this, We'll play a bit of a shuffle like this. So to do that, I'm just playing a regular C chord. I'm doing my down up, but I'm dropping my index finger on the second fret of the top string, the G string. So I'm playing a down up of a regular C. Then I'm dropping my index finger on like I've just explained. Then I'm taking it back off. So each time I play a down up, I'm either putting my index finger on or taking it off if it's already been on. And that's giving it this nice shuffle feel. Really nice. Then we can do the same thing with our F chord. So if we place our regular F on that I showed you before, to get the shuffle on your F, What I'm doing is I'm dropping my third finger here on the second fret of the C string. Same thing, so I'm playing a regular down up on an F, then I'm dropping that finger on, then back off, and that's giving us that nice shuffle feel. So that's a couple of things that we can do to dress it up and makes it sound a little bit more interesting. So that's going to dress it up quite nicely, that's going to make our 12 bar blues sound a little bit more like this. I'm going to play it quite quickly now. So that sounds quite nice, we've already done something there. There's a few other things we can do. So we could potentially break up that four bars of C at the beginning. So instead of just playing four bars of C, we could throw our G7 in uh, for the third bar there. So let's just try that now. So I'm gonna play two bars of our C shuffle and then I'm gonna play one bar of a G7 and then I'm gonna go back to our C shuffle for one bar. Let's try that now. So 
that sounds quite nice. You can see that's just breaking up those first four chords. So we're already starting to get a few different things in there. What about if we make it a little bit more complicated still? So instead of just shuffling on that one note, we can actually shuffle on two notes. So this time, what I'm doing is I'm playing down up with my regular C chord. Then I'm dropping my index finger like we did before on that shuffle on the second fret of the G string. Then I'm dropping my second finger on the third fret of the G string. Then I'm taking it back off and going back down to that index finger on the second fret. So I'm just walking up that top string on the second and third fret. So if I do it really slowly. And we can do that on our F as well. It's exactly the same principle. So I've got my F chord on. And as before with our shuffle, I drop my third finger on that second fret, so I'm going to do that. You can see what I'm doing there is, I'm dropping that third finger on the second fret for the second part of it, and then I'm sliding it up to the third fret. So I'll do that again one time. So you can see I'm starting to do a lot more with this 12 bar blues and make it sound really interesting. You can really play around with this quite a bit. And finally, one thing that I'd like to do is just show you a little bit of an ending that's not too complicated to play. So normally the last four bars of our 12 bar blues in C, we're playing our G7 for a bar, our F for a bar, and then our C for two bars. But what I like to do is I like to finish on the G, on the G7 rather than the actual C. So let's do that now. See so that kind of sets you up to come back into the repetition really nicely. Hopefully you've learned a few tricks for the 12 bar blues there. I'll be back soon with more tutorials.